guys, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Today's recipe is a lovely bread Manchurian recipe. So you, all you need is bread and just a few other ingredients. Let's get started. For the batter, you need two teaspoons of corn flour, four teaspoons of maida or all-purpose flour, salt, half teaspoon pepper powder, half teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Now gradually add water and mix it till you get a thick batter. Cut the bread slice into one inch pieces and dip the pieces into the batter and when the oil is hot, just deep fry it. Fry for about two to three minutes on both sides. Remove the fried bread pieces and keep it aside. Next, we're going to make the sauce for the Manchurian. Take a nice deep saucepan, add 3 teaspoons of oil, chopped garlic, chopped ginger, green chilli 1, finely chopped, saute it for a minute, spring onion whites, the green capsicum and saute it for about 2 to 3 minutes. 2 teaspoons of vinegar, 2 teaspoons of soy sauce, 2 teaspoons of red chilli sauce, and 4 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Mix well. Spring onion greens. Half teaspoon pepper powder and mix well. Add the fried bread pieces into the sauce and mix well till the pieces are nicely coated with the sauce. Serve it hot. Garnish it with some spring onion greens or coriander leaves. So there you have the simple and delicious bread manchurian that you can try next time. You want to try some lovely Indo-Chinese recipe. So do try this and enjoy. Many of us enjoy this Indo-Chinese combination of recipes or dishes. So today is one recipe which is Indo-Chinese that is Panmi's Manchurian. Let's take a look at the ingredients. First, I'm going to deep fry the paneer. For that, you would need to make the batter, that is the all-purpose flour, rice flour, corn flour, and salt. Gradually add the water, just mix it in. The batter should be the right consistency. This is the consistency of the batter that you need. It shouldn't be too thick or runny, it should be just right. It should be able to coat the pieces beautifully. So if you feel you've added too much water, don't worry, you can always add a little all-purpose flour or corn flour and get the correct consistency. The oil is hot, I'm going to just gently place the coated paneer pieces into the oil and deep fry it. So I've fried the paneer pieces and kept aside. Next, I'm going to make the sauce. For that, take a pan, put some oil. We're going to saute all the ingredients. Just add the ingredients one at a time. The garlic, ginger, spring onion, red chilli. The ginger is just amazing here. The fragrance is just simply divine. Now I'm going to add the bell peppers. I've added three different colours just to make the dish a little more uh, colourful and vibrant. But if you don't find uh, the red and yellow bell peppers, you can just use uh, the regular green capsicum. Just add a few sprigs from the spring onion. Once you've stir fried it for a few minutes, add some salt, some pepper. Now add the soy sauce. Ketchup. So once you've made the sauce, add the paneer pieces finally. Just mix it gently. You can see the sauce is beautifully coated the paneer pieces. Just add the remaining spring onions. Finally, add the chopped coriander leaf. Now, who wants a piece of this paneer? Right now, off the pan. I can't wait. I'm sure neither can you. Mm. 
there you have this delicious sweet tangy and spicy paneer manchurian do try it and enjoy it with your family today's special recipe is gobi manchurian let's get started and see all the ingredients there are two steps to this particular recipe one is to fry the cauliflower in batter and the next step is to make the sauce so first i'm going to show you how to get the batter done and deep fry the cauliflower for the batter take 3 whole tablespoons of maida or all purpose flour 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of corn flour so mix it together 1 spoon chili powder and a little salt add a little water and make the batter the batter should be the right consistency you don't want it too runny so that it just coats the florets i'm going to add the florets to the batter so there you go you can see just getting all that coated beautifully fry them till they're nice golden brown in color the next step is to make the sauce and then we're going to add this fried gobi that is a cauliflower into the sauce and mix it add a little oil add chopped garlic chopped ginger so i'm going to add some capsicum spring onions 2 to 3 teaspoons of soy sauce 3 teaspoons of chili sauce 1 to 2 tablespoons of ketchup tomato ketchup half teaspoon pepper add a little salt just to balance the flavors slowly start adding the fried cauliflowerets into the sauce and make sure it's coated completely in the sauce now the gobi manchurian or the cauliflower manchurian is ready to be served so there you have absolutely delicious gobi manchurian you can't get enough of it trust me so do try and enjoy the recipe with your family today's recipe is a much requested recipe it's uh, a special manchurian that i'm going to make today for you guys it's vegetable manchurian i've made several others um, like gobi manchurian and paneer manchurian but today let's see how we're going to make the vegetable manchurian For the vegetable manchurian, we're just going to mix all the vegetables together. One carrot that's been finely grated, cabbage one cup finely grated, two beans finely cut up, capsicum half finely chopped, half teaspoon chopped ginger, half teaspoon chopped garlic, spring onion greens a couple of teaspoons, spring onions finely chopped. Now I'm going to season this with some salt, some pepper, two to three teaspoons of. maida or all purpose flour so we're going to use this to bind it together and 2 teaspoons of corn flour make sure you mix this filling well so that everything is combined and when you roll into small rounds or balls it has to bind together feel there's no enough flour to bind it you can add an extra teaspoon or so the natural moisture in the vegetable is enough to bind it together you don't have to add any extra water take a little and roll it into even size balls and then we will deep fry them make sure you keep it on medium low to cook through otherwise it can be very doughy and very sticky inside you want it to cook through once you get a lovely golden brown color you can remove them from the oil so take a sauce pan add a little oil to this which is going to make a sauce could add a few ingredients starting with some garlic ginger finely chopped spring onion whites finely chopped so now i'm going to use half of these spring onion greens and the rest i will use for garnish 2 teaspoons of vinegar 2 teaspoons of soy sauce but 3 teaspoons of chili sauce 1 to 2 tablespoons of tomato ketchup add a pinch of salt just to get those flavors balanced and some pepper 
just going to dilute the sauce with a little water. There you have a very nice consistency. So now gently place the churian balls into the sauce. Make sure you mix it gently. The vegetable manchurian is ready to be served. Now this is a, a more of a dry manchurian that I've made with less sauce. But if you want it with gravy, if you want more sauce, then you can add a little more stock to it and make it a little more saucy. Now I've made this is a nice tartar kind, so you can just ha eat it as is. Garnish it with some fresh spring onion greens. Now you know how simple it is to make the vegetable manchurian. So make this as your weekend project and try it and enjoy it with your family. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram.